gotta get out of here. Isaac, you gotta run faster with your stubby legs. Your tiny, tiny legs that are so much smaller than your head. Oh, I can move these now. My god. You guys, you can tell I'm in a big hurry. <laughs> oh, look, secrets. I wonder what I'll find. Are none of them else? Those, this was the only secret, I guess. <laughs> All right, <laughs> cool. Couldn't teleport me all the way out. That'd be beyond his power. Ah, uh, quick, we gotta do the platforming puzzle again. Maybe I went the wrong way. I am tripping out a bit on the fact that this is a Game Boy Advance game. It just looks really detailed. <laughs> I might have gone the wrong was there was there a shorter way out, like through the crystal t hall or something? Oop. Maybe not. Oh, we're not done yet. I thought that was a cutscene. thought Mount Aleph was inactive. Oh, my grandson! Will Garrett be safe in this eruption? I'm so important that I definitely have a portrait and everything. Grandpa, we don't even know if he's up there. But sis, someone saw him and his friends climbing up Mount Aleph. Even though the premise of us getting up there was that we were undetected. They were hanging around here while I was on guard duty. Isaac and Garrett went to M Mr. Creighton's house. Didn't they say they were studying alchemy? Yes, they did, but what does that have to do with the eruption? You know, the place where the alchemy's from? How do you study alchemy if you can never go to the place where alchemy comes from? <laughs> Uh-oh. It's Grandpa and the others. What should we do, Isaac? Should we go back up? No? Garrett! Isaac! You're safe. Come over here, both of you. Unportrated man says. Where have you been? What happened? Weren't Jenna and Creighton with you? They were taken away. By whom? This is all very complicated. We'll need to... We'll need you to tell us exactly what happened on the mountain. Come into the sanctum, both of you. I feel like we need to evacuate. Like, desperately. It's a montage. Oh, there's the gem, because he has the gem. That was a little hard to make out, due to the color changes. What is that up there? On top of the screen. Just an altar I get. Whoa! <laughs> that was really coordinated, that was impressive. 
Now they're fake walking. I feel like you don't have to explain walking. <laughs> we had no idea. The true sanctum. And Jenna and Creighton. They're prisoners? Yep. They've been taken against their will. How awful. Do you think they can be saved? I definitely don't remember what he ever sounded like. We can! <laughs> Jenna's brother, Felix, will protect them, won't he? What is it, great healer? You've been very quiet. It's like you're a thousand miles away. That hovering stone. That one that appeared before Isaac. What about it? I have seen it before, in my dreams. In my mind's eye, it appeared again just now and spoke to me. You saw it just now? It must be the wise one. Guardian of the Elemental Stars. It told me what happened to you in Soul Sanctum. I do give Andrew voice directions. <laughs> this will make sense later. <laughs> or in the past. I don't even know, actually. So what does the Wise One say about the eruption? Will the volcano destroy Vale? It is impossible to stop the eruption now. Will Veil be? Veil will be safe. The Wise One will prevent the lava from reaching us. What a badass. Could have used him when my dad died. <laughs> What's the matter, Great Healer? The village will be destroyed, won't it? Something even more dreadful than Vale's destruction looms ahead. What could be worse than the destruction of Vale? A terrible power. The elemental star gems house incredible power. And Vale has been guarding those gems? The elemental lighthouses will lose that power upon the world. Once the power of the gems has been released, the whole world will. The Wise One wants us to get the gems back, doesn't he? The world is ours to save or to destroy. Our inaction may bring about its destruction. What a pity. We cannot hope for salvation. We must save ourselves. Then what can we do? You know, just send these two boys to do it and no one else. The fate of the whole world in the hands of some children. This is a JRPG, after all. <laughs> Acquiring the elemental stars is their fate alone. Is their fate alone. Yep. Are you suggesting we place the fate of the world in the hands of Isaac and Garrett? Garrett is only a child. You can't expect him to bear such a burden. The wise one has spoken. Each of you shares responsibility for this. Now, each of you must make your own decision. I don't know what to do. Isaac, you decide. Isaac, will you accept responsibility for the fate of the land? You accept? Oh, Isaac, you can't mean it. You chose to leave your decision to Isaac. 
There shall be no further discussion. But Dad! <laughs> oh, wise one. These two have accepted your quest. Give us your next command. Well, just here it comes. <laughs> you two are quite brave to take on this quest. I shall be watching you. Choose your destiny wisely, young ones. It's funny that I, that old man is seared into my mind. Like, I remember his portrait. I don't remember the eyeball globe at all. That was the wise one. What did the wise ones say? So they can't understand him or see him. Or they can see him, but they can't understand him, but I could, apparently. Felix must unlock the power. Find the lighthouses. You'll have the guidance of the elemental star. Felix? Uh, then what? What should they do there? Surely that cannot be all the advice you can offer them, great healer. Seek the elementals. The djinn. They will prove useful. Isn't there anything else? That is all. Wow. That's it? There isn't anything else you can tell them. That is all, Mayor. I leave it up to you, Isaac. Garrett. I need to take some deeper breaths or something. All, the, all these consecutive line reads are making me yawn when I shouldn't be. Hey, isn't it almost time to meditate? Oh, yeah. Meditation, let's go. They'll share a portrait. How many kinds of jobs are there in this town? Like, what percentage of people are monks? <laughs> Well, what good are those guys? Sending children off with no help or direction. Like in some kind of jerpig. I agree, but... What am I gonna do? Chaperone them? Come with them on an adventure? I'm just gonna sit at my house. <laughs> they didn't give us any other choice. Then, when should they go? You're not gonna come with us? It doesn't sound like we can afford to wait. You're the mayor. How is that guy the authority? Tomorrow, then? Tomorrow? Yes. Why is everyone hanging around the town gate? What, you didn't hear? Isaac and Garrett are leaving Vale on a journey. I wish I could go. I heard it's going to be really dangerous. Oh yeah? So everyone's down there to say goodbye. And dogs. Look at all these little sprites trying to act. <laughs> like they're trying to convey emotion, but they have so little tools. It's kind of funny watching the effort. Hey, what's the matter? Weird. Isaac's mother isn't there to see him off. You're right. She's not there. Is that a cat? <laughs> There's a dog chasing a cat. That went by so fast. 
Hey, should we go say goodbye too? Sure, let's go. Can she not bear her little, her only remaining child going off? Wait, do I have a sister? I don't think I do, right? It's Gareth as a family. We are counting on you, Isaac. Oh, and you too, Garrett, I guess. You're also here. Inexorably. Don't drink the water if it smells funny. And take this with you too. One herb. Wow. Thanks. To help you on your journey, I have provided you one potion. <laughs> I know not to drink stagnant water, sis. Don't listen to him, Isaac. He's a pig. He'll eat anything that's not tied down. Hmm. Dora is very late. Oh, that's right. Auntie Dora asked me to give this to you, Isaac. Catch beads. I don't know what that is, but it sounds more interesting than one herb. I guess we're all set to go, huh, Isaac? Think again, Garrett. It must be very difficult for Dora. As Garrett's mother, I know how Dora must be feeling. But I still have Garrett's father, while Dora has only Isaac. She doesn't want you to go, Isaac. But she knows you have to, and it hurts to see you leave. They can't keep standing around here like this, or they'll never leave. So, one final farewell. Farewell. How old are these children? Did they say? And we're just out. There we go. Welcome to the fucking overworld. It's very blurry. <laughs> oh. A traveling warrior. And I see you're an adept, too. You are just the kind of fighter that I've been looking for. Won't you please take me along with you? I am a Venus genie. My name is Flint. I must find my comrades. We were separated from each other when the volcano erupted. Maybe you can help gather my friends together as you travel. If you let me join you, I'll prove to be a very, uh, very beneficial to you adepts. Your synergy will grow stronger and your adept skills will also improve. You can call on us in battle or just use our power to boost your own. If you call on many of us at once, our powers will work together. What do you think? Will you take me with you? Oh, you'll see. You won't regret it. Flint, the Venus genie, is now Isaac's ally. Definitely didn't think that was pronounced genie for, like, 20 years. Now I'll briefly teach you how to use Jin. After bringing a genie into your party, <coughs> you, must set it, you must set it to somebody. Need a little water. This this is kind of one of the most unique, bizarre, fucking crazy things about this game. And for a while it seemed really odd for a long time, but then I, now I'm kind of used to the fact that like JRPGs often have really complicated class systems or leveling systems, one or the other. They usually get really weird. In this one, you equip different genie on you like Pokemon, but the number but like the number of slots you make up with a combination of different elements makes you a different character class. And uh, additionally weird is I think you can use the power of the genie during combat, which like exhaust them or something, and that makes you revert to whatever class you would be if they didn't exist, which extra makes things weird during combat from what I can remember. To give your genie to someone else, move it like this. After choosing who will take the genie, you can set it. That'll make that make Garrett go from a guard to a brute. Setting a genie changes your attributes and maybe even your class. 
Those class those stats go up and those stats go down. When your class changes, your synergy you can use may also change. Next I'll show you how you can use us in battle. Each genie has different powers. Once we're set, you can unleash us to use our powers. So let me demonstrate the power of my attack, Isaac. <laughs> but not with Garrett. Fuck that guy. Back to you being a squire with high stats. A zombie appeared. Oh yeah, it's still automated. This is a fully on-rails tutorial. Not even on-rails, it's just happening on its own. Choose this command to unleash me in battle, okay? So yeah, it makes my stats go down because it's no longer in me. But then this happens. That's all you have to do to unleash a set uh, gen genie. Boom. Isaac unleashes Flint. Zombie takes 29 damage. Garrett is defending. See? When you unleashed me, I attacked with my mighty stone cleaver! And on top of the screen you can see one earth element is available, apparently. After being unleashed, when Gen the we genie will then stand by to be summoned. And then summoning them, I think, goes back to being in the that class. If you have a standby, Jin, you can summon even greater powers. They're just making Garrett watch. Boom! boom Let's see. So, you're, so, you're, so you got, uh, uh, unequipping and re-equipping a, a genie itself is an attack in both cases. See, we Jin can be very useful, can't we? And one more thing. After a genie has been used to summon, it must spend time in recovery. And after we recover, we will set ourselves again and be ready to attack. So, we go from set to standby to recovery, then back to set. This is the simplest way to use us. Did you get all that? Oh yeah! If you want to learn more about the djinn, uh, refer to the help, okay? You just gotta press SE. Uh... Oh, select. Yeah. Okay! I'll join you now, thank you very much! Please, use us Jin wisely. So that's a bit abrupt. <laughs> oh, God. What a sound. Barely walk out of town and you meet your first Pokemon, basically. With almost no introduction. It's like, did Jin's exist? Uh, here they are. They're, here they are. Existing. Surprise. So he gives me 10 more PP, 3, or 10 more HP, 3 PP, 3 attack. It's not huge, but a lot of, a lot, big chunk of health right there. Once I have more, I think we can get really weird with it. But for now, it's just a kind of starter booster thing. Look at this beautiful world. This is my first ever open JRPG greenfield world to run around in. It is, this is my base example of that idea, which might seem weird. Oh my god. Ow. Stop that. Garrett's level 3. Oh, let, let's save between episodes. Because then if something goes wrong with my recording, I can undo it. Hooray. Which way am I going? I don't know. Maybe here is a town. Whoa. We can't stay another minute in this dangerous place like this. We return to Kayle immediately. Bye. Da 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 da. <laughs> I heard that little jingle and immediately I'm like, oh my god, I haven't thought of this song in forever. Master Hammett, this is terrible. The bridge has been destroyed. We cannot continue southward. What? The bridge? This is awful. How are we going to get to Kayle now? Well, that kind of cart famously can be used to cross water. I don't think it was very safe though, or at least Oregon Trail made, me, made it seem very dangerous. 
Master Hammett, I'm worried about leaving Ivan behind. As fond as I am of Ivan, it is his fault that my rod was stolen. And his strange powers will aid him in search of the rod. Oh, somebody with powers? Ivan has strange powers. You don't know your own son has strange powers? Whoa! We must leave this treacherous place immediately. But to where? Where can we go? We have no choice. We're heading north. We'll wind up in Loonpa if we go north. Well, it's better than being smashed by falling rocks here, isn't it? Did we see all this happen? <laughs> We're just standing here. What, what is this line of sight like? How much did we see? How far can we see? I have so many questions. Like, what what kind of space is being simulated by that map? Because it, it looks like that's, that whole town is just that one piece of land. But it seems to genuinely suggest we were watching that whole process. Welcome to Vault, the town at the heart of Angara. That's all I say. I'm the town's greeter. We have a greeter. This rock, this rock was blown here all the way from the volcano. It looks odd, doesn't it? It sparkles so much. It looks like a gem. Is it Synergy Crystal? If only these rocks were gems, we'd be wealthy. Instead, they're trash. Wow, I robbed them. I got seven coins. We actually can get stuff. It's not always a waste. Wasn't the eruption of Mount Aleph incredible? No. Killed my dad. Aren't you courageous? Not even an erupting volcano scares you. Oh, you meant incredible as in, like, huge. Not like, wow, cool. Hey, mister. Is it fun to see strange new places? When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer and sleep in a tent. That's not really an upgrade, honestly. My neighbor creeps me out. He always has that smug smirk on his face. So this apparently, this zone's so dangerous, apparently people have to flee it. So what's going on here? You children are creepy. Master Hammett's caravan left town as soon as the eruption stopped. I guess that volcano really shook him up. That poor guy, Ivan. They left him at the mayor's to look for the stolen rod. Okay, so if I find the mayor, I'll find Ivan. That purple hair person seems really conspicuous. Are you the mayor's? There's a prison under your house. Okay, the, the children are getting really creepy in this game. Could someone please help Ivan? Ivan has great powers. Wouldn't you like to know what they are? No way, it's our secret. I could help Ivan if I were just a little older. I don't like how they're just staring into each other's eyes by the burning. My husband, the mayor, can't believe anyone from Vault could be the thief. But unless we find who stole the rod, Ivan can't return home to Calais. So you're Ivan, aren't you? Mind bead? Oh. I, uh, forgot to look what that did. <laughs> they gave me a strange item. You are very purple, sir. Uh, yes. I... I do possess strange powers. You have them too, don't you? Mind read. What? My power? It's called Synergy. I had no idea. We have so much in common. I feel like I can trust you with this. Reading, reading people's minds is pretty intrusive with no permission. <laughs> I'm quite troubled. Master Hammett's rot was stolen. Would you please help me get back my, my master's rod? Thank you. With your help, I believe we can recover the rod. Your names are... 
You can just ask us. All right. <laughs> you got boundary problems. Look, Isaac even backed up. Isaac and Garrett. I am Ivan. Pleased to meet you. My ability to read people's minds frightens you, doesn't it? Am I really? Is my mind read so frightening? Ivan and Isaac clasped their hands together. Stop it! <laughs> I Ivan, stop it! Ah, my mind! Stop reading my mind, Ivan! So, Isaac, could you read Garrett's mind? Just as I thought. What, you read my mind too, Isaac? I guess that I could help you read minds, if we shared our synergy. Oh, that's why we were holding hands. Hey, that's not fair. Why do you get to read my mind? You're right. It's not very fair to read one way. That's what you do. Ivan and Garrett clasped their hands together. Whoa, I did it. I read your mind, Isaac. This is intrusive. Let's use mind read to find the thieves. Why did you need my help if you're just going to use the power you already have? <laughs> you're both the... You're both the problem, you're both the, the quest giver and the solution to the quest at the same person at the same time. Wait a sec. Won't people know that we're using mind read? Oh I see. You two can tell when I'm using synergy. Isaac, both of you both you and Garrett are adepts. Maybe that's why you can tell when I'm reading your minds. That's why he's so intrusive about it, because nobody else can t tell he's doing it. So he's just been getting away with it for years, this little punk. I don't think I had such a clear indicate. Like, I don't think as a kid I had such an immediate read on this guy as being like, what the fuck is his problem? But I'm immediately like, well, dude, boundaries. You don't just fucking read people's minds at random. Ordinary people can't see anything. There's nothing to worry about. Don't worry, I will not read your minds again. Let me read the minds of the townspeople to find the rod. It is really funny that he's the solution to the problem, but also the person who told us there's a problem in the first place. Whirlwind. Attack with a swirling tornado! And then red bumper was move, I think? Yeah. Well, I think it's pretty clear we're going to be using mind read around now, so let's, let's do that for now. I wonder what sort of thing an animal would say. I wish I had that power. You're helping Ivan? You don't look very reliable, but at least you won't be alone. These guys look reliable, I guess. Ivan's pretty lucky. Wow. You're gonna be a punk to my face and you won't even, it's not even what you mean. I see how it is. You didn't find anything in that barrel of use, uh, Isaac. Nothing in that barrel that might be of use in our adventure. No? Okay. Oh, you're going to help Ivan. Thank you. Hey, that tickles. Being tickled by a boy isn't so fun. Uh. uh <laughs> really? You're going to help Ivan in his search for the rod? I'm so relieved to hear that. Maybe they'll find our stolen family heirloom while they're looking. I miss that old urn. Is that a genuine side quest? Can I pick up that apple? It's really shiny. No. The answer's no. Master Hammett's servant can't return to Calais until he recovers the rod. Who is that purple person? Oop. I can just walk in here. That looks like it does something. These spots on the floor are suspect. I feel like move should be a hand icon instead of a fireball. It's a little unhelpful. Nope. That's not what Whirlwind's for. Maybe... I don't know what would do that. Something like a, a rock dropping attack? 
We'll see. Maybe they have uh, some upgrades for me over here. We don't like to look at each other, so we built a wall in the middle. Come in, welcome. Take a look at our fine weapons. Artifacts? You must be a connoisseur of those caught your eye. What do you like? Magic rod. Staff unleashes Merc. Costs 380 coins. It would give him 10 more attack, and it's a strong item, but holy crap, that's an investment. What about your normal item? Repair? It's not broken. We well, said that I should repair it before it breaks, right? The long sword. I think I remember liking this one just because it was blue. <laughs> like it's got the cool blue outside and like, oh, look at that! That seems neat. It increases Isaac's attack by 7 and Garrett's by 6. I feel like I should go all in on a relic. I'm gonna buy anything. And then just hope to get other stuff at random. A travel vest. Give somebody 4 or 5 defense. Ah. So we all have cotton shirts on, but then I Ivan already has a travel vest on. Because his parents loved him. Added gloves. Wow, Ivan's decked out. He has better gear than everything we're starting off with, including most of the stuff I can find here. Circlet. Ah. Ivan already has one, and we can't wear one. We have to wear hats. The plebeians we are. This gear is actually expensive. I feel like I'm gonna just be really reckless here, though, and grab the expensive. Oh wait, do you have do you have cool things? Nope. There's only one artifact in this entire town. Let's waste our money. Oh, you can even, it even auto sells your old item, and you can get that get money for that. There we go. Let me give you this game ticket as a token of my gratitude. You choose who gets the game ticket. There you go. It's kind of a funny quirk, but it seems that every single character in this game has their own independent inventory. There's no there's no shared inventory. So you have to, every time you get any item, you have to say who who's going to hold it. Because it affects what they can use during combat, I assume? Welcome! You have just the gear you need! More artifacts? Nope. Use more chances to get herbs. They're pretty cheap. Ha! Huh. We're sure to see a drop in business after this eruption. Ever since the eruption, Grandpa keeps wondering if anything was stolen. He doesn't realize we don't even have anything worth stealing. You guys have a shop. You better have something worth stealing. You never bought me anything worth stealing. Oh my god. I mean, Mom's gonna be like, let's see what I can steal from this building. <gasps> a sleep bomb? They'll never catch me. Is it just me, or am I missing something? Could they be thieves? This is no good. I don't know who I can trust anymore. I did just steal a sleep bomb from your house, so yes. Get out of my way. I can actually push them around. It's great. They gave me an item earlier, right? There's the Mars Star. Catch beads. Bestows catch when equipped. Oh, it gives you Synergy. Catches a Synergy. Okay, is it... Hmm. Oh! Grab light objects from afar. That's what Catch Bead does. 
That's important. That's an environmental interaction. <laughs> Are you leaving? I'm still worried about the rod. So I'll just wait here until you return. No, I didn't want to leave. I walked a little too close. There we go. Back to it. Oh, it unmapped my ability. Yep. I suppose these children can't go anywhere s since Mount Aleph erupted. No trapped here with my bullshit. This poor fucking puppy is just at the graves. It's really distressing. Hm. Off on an adventure, are you? It's impressive you see to see youngsters like you going on a dangerous journey. I was just about to leave this town behind when the volcano erupted. Anybody else see this person up here? No one? Just me? Okay. Welcome to our inn. No, I'm not necessarily here to stay. That volcano cost us a lot of business, and now this robbery. Those three are paying us a lot of money. I'll stick up for them if there's any trouble. What? You have a robbery? Those three strangers sure have fooled the innkeeper and his wife. They're the type of people who think they can get away with anything. The master and his wife are blinded by money. They'll, they'll be in trouble if they don't help search for the thieves. There's a robbery, but because the robbery, the robbers paid them, apparently, they're gonna stick out for them. We stumbled into something really abruptly. The guests upstairs weren't in their room during the eruption. We searched the room afterwards, but we couldn't find anything. It would be awful if one of our guests turned out to be the thieves. It would be awful if your wife was just actively defending whoever did it. Oh. So that, third, that purple person I saw was the other thief. What do you want? It looks like that weird kid is with them. I don't... I can't stand him. Don't let him near me. They're running from me. <laughs> I can't stand him. Keep him away. No. There must be a synergy I can use. I have catch, move, tornado one. You can't run around while it's happening. Hmm. Hmm. I don't see it. Oop. They're acting suspicious. Something's not right. But you can't use mind read if they keep running away, can you? Isn't there any way I can catch them? We need like a rock. <laughs> a big boulder. I think we only catch them if we can either time travel, like go fast forward mode, or if we can uh, create a hazard. Maybe the three of us can surround one of them. Don't worry, this is going to work. Isaac, you take the lead. Wait, are we gonna spread out? Hey, they're back. I didn't realize we'd use some outside of JRPG logic here. I thought we were gonna be like, shit, <laughs> I'll never catch them because even though there's three of us, we're, one, we're represented as one character when I walk around. Uh-oh, they're coming for us one on one. <laughs> They're getting, like, caught by children. Do whatever it takes. Just keep away from them, just like before. Maybe you guys should leave the building. What is this? Uh-oh, I'm surrounded. Now, Ivan, 
This is so stupid. It's incredible. All right. What is this? What is he doing? He shut his eyes. What's he doing? Are you done, Ivan? <laughs> what the fuck? This kid. I, I I talked shit about those twins earlier. Or the, the the little kids staring at each other. But like, I'm the creepy child now. We're like, we're coming for you. And we slowly surround them in a bedroom until we can read their minds. What'd you learn, Ivan? It's them, all right. I think they took a lot of all other things too. Ah, people are blaming the old man for being paranoid. There's thieves in town. It looks like they're hiding it all somewhere in this inn. But they won't let me near them again. Then I guess we have no other choice. We have to search the inn. Leave it to us. Isaac always comes through, and I'm here also. I trust your sense of duty. And I'll also be here. Well, it's decided. Let's go, Ivan. All right. No, leave me alone. Ow, stop it. <laughs> okay, so somewhere around here is where they're keeping the secrets. Everyone thinks our guests are the thieves, but I think it's unfair to accuse them without any evidence. Sure, they look suspicious, but they've been quite polite, and they paid cash. Like, stolen cash. There's, some, there's actually some kind of commentary here where she's, because of the loss of, loss of business due to the natural disaster, uh, not entirely natural disaster, uh, she's incentivized to help criminals in order to keep her business afloat. A mint. This is probably the first game. This game is probably the first instance of me realizing that a mint was a plant. When I was like 10. At that point, it's just mint was just a flavor. What could it mean? Hello. Mucho suspicioso. I just saw a giant golden box, so at, for a second there I thought, oh, the box, that's the thing I'm looking for. But no. Wait, someone's tied up here? How long have they been here? I had to cut him free from the ropes. I came into this loft while I was fixing the roof. But I found I couldn't get all the way to the back of the loft. So I was looking into it when wham! Someone whacked me in the head from behind. When I came to, I was all tied up. Strange. I don't remember all these crates being up here before. Maybe all that stolen stuff is in these crates. Looks like we've been found out. You're pretty persistent for one of Hammett's whelps, kid. Why are you working so hard for Hammett? What's it to you? Anyway, Hammett's already been caught by a worse bunch of thieves than us. I hear Hammett fled to Loompa after the eruption. Did you say Loompa? A man with... A man with Master Hammett's money shouldn't go anywhere near Loompa. What kind of place is Loompa? Apparently a, a crime... like a, a thief town. The town was named after its founder, Loompa the noble thief. How noble. That family of thieves remained noble even when her, his son, Donpa, took over. What a name. 
But Don Pasan. Don <laughs> <laughs> They've got like a Pokemon naming scheme for their their family heritage. But Donpa's son, Dodonpa, is an evil thief. Because the concept of evil totally exists. The man has no morals. I've heard he's truly vicious. See? We're not so bad. How about it? Will you let us go? Why would we let- What'd that have to do with letting you go? Everything you said was just completely unrelated to the fact that you did crimes. You attacked somebody. What? You mean even if we return everything we stole and apologize? It's still a crime? I mean, yes, but I don't think you even said you were going to return everything. I think that's the first time you said that. You must be joking. We stole this stuff fair and square. We'll just have to keep you quiet. I'll just have to fight you with magic. There's only one way to do that. Get him. I wish. I actually wish I had saved now. The song sprinted into my brain, and I will never escape it repeating in my brain all the time, all the time. It's always playing on a loop in my brain. Lightning! Neat. Just kind of spread the AoE around so everyone gets to be the main focus. Kind of depends on how strong they are, though. Ooh. Ooh, 53 healing. That's not good. So middle guy got hit by all three attacks, including the focus of one of them. Shit. Maybe Garrett's kind of bad at fighting. Maybe he should just be attacking or something? Check out the other spell. So Ivan's really fast. He always seems to attack first. Dude, him healing, getting healed for like 50 is a big deal. Like, they don't take that much damage overall. Let's try using the djinn. I need, I need one of these guys to go down. Big kill! Still not enough. Dude, their leader's persistent. So they just healed both of the other guys, so I need to just focus on their leader at this point. Ooh! Let's use this attack now. See how this goes. Dude! Ivan does a lot of damage, and there is not stopping. What? So that was my big Jin. The other half of my gin spell. There we go. Okay. They can't stop trembling. Oh, because of the the earthquake. They actually haven't. Have they not attacked me? Have they only tried to use like sleep bombs on me and stuff? Hey, there we go. You are... are they... are they gonna be dead? Feld is a little worrying. Are, that, are we murderers? Because we're like 12. That's heavy. They're still moving, I guess. They... they got us. Actually, for a second there, I thought we were goners. Now that I've uncovered the crime ring, maybe the... The inn will let me have stay here for the night for free. Probably not, because I ruined their business. Wow, we won! You didn't help. Don't take credit. Get out of here. I... I'll get to the mayor! After all the trouble we went to, stealing all this stuff... Haven't you heard? Stealing from others is wrong. Ah, uh, they are children. Sheesh. I told you. I told you we should have skipped town. Evil never prevails. Wow, Garrett. What a complex moral tapestry you weave. If you'll give me Master Hammond's rod, I'll head to Loompa now. Great to Loompa. 
to save, yeah, to save his dad, I guess. What will you two be doing, Isaac? I suppose we have to go after Felix and the others. He's reading our minds again. Shouldn't we stop him? Yes. <laughs> this is not nice to do. It's too late, Isaac. He's already done. <laughs> cool. Good choice. I see. So that's what happened. These are the thieves, Mayor. What you did was horrid. Stealing? In the middle of a disaster? Hey, you're the ones who left all the doors open. Hey, you're the ones who left all the doors open. Taking advantage of, of a friendly town. Not gonna lie, though, I was like, ooh, look at all these chests I get to open now. I'm like, wait a minute, that's not how this works. You were practically begging us to... Ugh. Sorry, couldn't help myself. What should we do with them? We're going to lock them up for a long, long time. Hey, wake up. You guys got punked by 12 year olds. With, I guess they have magic though. They do have a genie. What's a genie? Can they see the magic in the universe if they can't see synergy? Like, how does that work, I wonder? Let's go. Get up. Get up. Hey, can you help me tie them up? Me? Don't you got two wigs strong, man? Hey, you. Isaac, right? I won't forget this. Oh, that was the... Hey, you. Isaac, right? I won't forget this. It was the criminal, wasn't it? I don't know, it doesn't say who's talking. It looked like the muscle man was looking at me. Thank you for catching the thieves. You have our sincerest gratitude. Really? You were a big help. I wonder if we get to Loonpa and then find out, like, ah, oh, this guy's a friend of the thieves, or, ah, oh, he's because this guy's an enemy of the thieves. He got us for thieving, which feels a little self-defeating of his logic process, but, you know, <laughs> I don't know if things you do in this game pay off later or if there's really choices that matter. Let's take a look at what they stole. The mayor's precious urn. Mayor, isn't that your family's urn? My precious urn has been returned. A gold statue. Hey, that belongs to the... They stole from our sanctum those monsters. The town's treasures. They're back at last. They couldn't have been gone that long. That one guy was still here. Like, he didn't starve or whatever. Or I don't, even, I don't think he even had to take a dump. Mayor, we found another chest over here, you see? Ivan, isn't this what you were looking for? Now you can return to Master Hammond. Right, oh right, it, it was your... It was like your dad's, it was your dad's boss's rod, not the mayor's. So you were, you were, the, the, the town doesn't care about this item. That's right. I heard that Master Hammond was seen headed towards Lunpa. Oh no. Dodonpa wouldn't miss an opportunity like that. I'm certain that your master has been kidnapped. Wow, straight to it. No encouraging words. How can I resurrect Master Hammond? No one can enter once the gates are closed. What will happen to Master Hammond? Calm down, Ivan. Master Hammond is probably still alive and unharmed. 
Donpa knows that he can use Hammett to extort a ransom from Calais. We can't do much until Dodonpa makes his move. But at least we know Hammett's safe for now. Your name is Isaac, right? And you are... Also here. <laughs> it's Garrett. Thank you both. You have my deepest gratitude. Well, let's go then. Before you leave town, please come see me. I have something for you. I was about to joke like, oh, I have the deepest gratitude, and then they walk out. I'm like, because gratitude doesn't fucking pay, though. <laughs> Too bad they didn't invent gravity crystals in this universe. <laughs> what a mess. We finally get the rod back, and now this. I wish I could cheer you up. You look so depressed. I just want to rescue Master Hammett, that's all. But I couldn't ask you two to help me. You have a very important mission, right? That's right. I saw it in your minds. I had no idea the volcano's eruption held such a secret. Yes, we have to find Felix and his gang, or we'll all be in trouble. Then I suppose this is goodbye then. No! Isaac said he would help you, Ivan. No. You've already done so much for me. I couldn't impose on you any further. Yeah, but, uh, see... You're clearly telegraphed to be a party member, and like I just bought equipment gear for, uh, expensive gear for you, so be sure nice if you didn't leave the party immediately. Also, that shaman's rod better not be a better weapon than the one I just bought for you, because I'll be real frustrated that my big purchase was a huge waste. <laughs> Uh-oh. I shall never forget this town's hospitality. I wish you all the best. We're not even from this town. <laughs> we are a poor example of this town's hospitality. Well, I guess we'd better get moving, too. Everyone's getting credit for our shit all the time. What is this? We need to- we need a- we need a- we need a, a PR manager. 